Hey guys, this is the owner of Coda the Splits. Today we're just going to be doing a review on the Nutrients Grain Free Sub Zero food. So, in the Sub Zero, you've got three different flavours you've got the Fraser Valley, the Canadian Pacific, and the Prairie Red. So, you've got the Prairie Red, which is beef, wild boar, and bison. You've got the Fraser Valley, which is chicken, turkey, and herring. And you've got Canadian Pacific, which is salmon, herring, hake, sole, cod, flounder, etc. etc. So salmon oil, herring oil, and cod liver are used as a primary source of DHA and EPA omega-3 fatty acids, so this will help give your dog a healthy skin and coat. Just to mention as well, this company is made in Canada, they source their ingredients from Canada and the US as well. So in a dog food, you really want meat to be the main ingredient, and as you can see in this one, it does have a lot of fish as the main ingredients. So all of these ingredients have their own beneficial factors, and the Sub-Zero has got the freeze-dried raw food, so that includes green mussels, Pacific cod liver, pumpkin, and Acadian kelp. So the feeding guidelines say for an adult 10 kg dog, you give them a cup and a half. Coda weighs around 12 kgs. Um, I only give them a cup only because I give them sometimes treats in the morning, or I give them snacks for my dinner, like chicken or fruit and vegetables. If you do have a particularly fussy dog, I do find that the Sub-Zero is really good for fussy dogs. Just with the freeze-dried raw food, it just brings out a lot of the flavour in the food. Coda can be quite fussy at times, but he does really love the Sub-Zero food. So compared to the other flavours, you can see that the freeze-dried raw food is quite crumbly in the fish. Um, I don't mind this, some people might mind it, but I find it spreads the flavour around a bit more. So you can see Coda really enjoys this food the way he's happily munching on it. Um, normally he wouldn't do this with any other brand of food. I've gone through quite a few different brands and Sub-Zero he just is, goes crazy for, he loves it. So to make food time a bit more fun and mentally stimulating, I put his food into a Kong. So as you can see, he really has to work quite a bit harder to get the food out of this, rather than just eating out of a bowl. It can be quite boring, They eat. Uh, some dogs have problems where they eat too fast. Um, so I just find the Kongs really, really good to use. So Koda's been on the Sub-Zero um, Green Free Food for about six months now. Uh, he's got a really healthy skin and coat. He's nice and active, happy, healthy. Um, he does a lot fewer poos, a lot less smellier poos, which is really good. It's just an all round really good food to feed. So here he is at his little feeding station. He's got his Becco bowl and his Taurus water bowl, which I highly recommend. Um, you can see he's happily enjoying his food there, crunching down on it. Coda gets fed once a day. Um, I find that's all he needs is once a day f feeding, otherwise he won't eat because he's too full. That's the good thing about feeding a really high quality food is you don't need to feed much of it at all. Speak. Speak again. 